Are you there? Yes. All right. Talk like people with victory. Amen. First Peter 2 and 9 all together in unison. Read. Uh -huh. Yes, Lord. Uh -huh. Yes. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Persecution can cause either growth or bitterness in the Christian life. Response determines the result. Look at somebody say response. Response. Re determines, determines the result. the result. In writing to the Jewish believers struggling in the midst of persecution, Peter encourages them to conduct themselves courageously for the person and the program of the Lord Jesus Christ. Both their character and their conduct must be in living hope. They are to imitate the Holy One who has called them. Right. Now, 1 Thessalonians tells us that we have been called and chosen in him before the foundation of the world. You must know where you came from. Anybody ever heard of Ancestry.com? Amen. It is a system that you can use to trace your heritage to find out where you come from. Why do I act how I act? Why do I have certain proclivities and inclinations to behave in the manner that I do? You must know where you come from. Oh, I'm going to preach in a minute now. The fruit of that character will be, amen, the conduct rooted in submission. Somebody say submission. submission. Citizens to government, servants to masters, wives to husbands, and husbands to wives. I didn't write it, the word wrote it, amen. amen. Hallelujah. And Christians one to another, amen. We learn how to submit one to another. Amen. Only after submission is fully understand or understood does Peter deal with the difficult areas of suffering. The Bible says if we suffer with him oh y'all gonna help me preach I heard nobody look at somebody say if you suffer with him you're gonna reign with him. The Christians are not in a thin amen strange concerning the fiery towels as though some strange thing happened to you. Sometimes people say I don't know why I'm going through what I'm going through. Why does this situation seem to always occur in my life? Why are these things happening as though it is a strange thing? How can we say that? Amen. When the scripture says amen for we know that all I can't preach yet. Amen. That all things work. Oh, you got to understand. You got to slow down and understand. The book say all things work. There is a process. That means God is moving in the situation that is coming in your life. The book says all things work together. Amen. That means God has already orchestrated some things in your life to occur. Some doors to open and some doors to close. Not everything is the devil. Amen. There's the saints are good for that. We are oftentimes saying, I rebuke this in the name of you. You can't rebuke God when God closed the door. Because not all closed doors is the devil. Some closed doors is God. Yeah. Amen. You might have been praying for it. Amen. You wanted it. Amen. But as the preacher, amen, Bishop Griffin would say, when you get it, it might be good, but it ain't good for you. Yeah. Oh, look at somebody. I yeah. said, neighbor, yeah. it's not a strange thing. Yeah. But the Christian, amen, we are to rejoice as partakers of the suffering of Christ. That response to life is truly the climax of one submission to the good hand of God. Yeah. This letter, talking about the epistle, amen, of Peter, is addressed to the strangers scattered, or more literally sojourners of dispersion. You must understand that the church had become scattered. Uh -huh. Amen. There was, there's, that's why... Jesus is so wise. God is so wise. He said, where two or three are gathered together in my name. Because he knew there would come a time that the church, we, the people, would become scattered. Oh, Lord. Y'all going to work with me? Amen. So then you got to understand, this coupled with the injunction to keep their behavior honest among the Gentiles. First Peter 2 and 12 says, give the intention of the, the initial appearance that the bulk of the readers are Hebrew Christians. But as a closer look, amen, we find out that it forms the opposite view 
that most of these were not of a people, but they were now the people. So when he writes this, what he is actually saying is that all of these people I'm writing to are not Hebrew. Amen. Some of these people are Gentile because these were not a people, but now are a people. Amen. Because Paul penned it and said that you have been dragged, you've been grafted in to this holy nation. Amen. You were not a people. You were considered unclean and uncommon, according to Peter. Peter, I can't deal with you now. Why? Because you're not clean. You ain't common. You common. You did not get circumcised on the eighth day like the rest of us. Amen. The new beginning where the flesh was taken off. See, that's symbolic of a spiritual birth when the flesh come off on the eighth day. Ah, oh, because you got to put off the flesh. You got to put off the old man and put on the new man in what? Righteousness. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Slow down, Johnson. So they were called out of darkness, and they in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God. Their former vain conversations received by tradition from their father was characterized by ignorance and futility because they no longer engage in debauchery and idolatry. They 